Maria Cecilia, your reverse mortgage advisor. So I get asked often, is it, is it a problem to have family involved in the process or even outside entities such as an accountant or a financial advisor? And the answer to that question is that it really kind of depends on the situation, right? Um, let's take my family situation specifically, okay? My mom is 85 years old. My dad passed away 15 years ago. And so the baton has been passed on to me. She lives with me. I am the person she goes to when it comes to reading um, information, um, investigating information, making final decisions, anything that she wants to do financially. Um, she pretty much comes to me and it's my responsibility to be her advocate, okay? I do not make decisions for my mother, but I do make decisions with my mother. Now, with that being said, not all family dynamics are the same. There are some clients that do not want any family involvement. They do not want their information shared, and that must be respected. In fact, I have one lady, she's 90 years old. Oh my gosh, so freaking amazing. She called me smart, I mean, sharp as a tack. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. She had already done her due diligence. She had done so much research on the reverse mortgage. Tech savvy is all get the heck out. And she was uploading and doing all, I mean, just an amazing client, right? Had it all together and nobody was going to be involved in her transaction, right? I think the only person that I did speak to at some, at some capacity was with her financial advisor to just see how this reverse mortgage fit into her retirement planning or her estate planning. But for the most part, she wanted no one involved. So everyone's different. So basically you just have to cater to the needs of your client and also their family dynamics because it varies from client to client.